I had this ambition to, to make a film in, involving the whole span of, of the story. When you look at the whole span of the story, it's almost like a metaphor for uh, the history of the world, the history of the man. And it'd be nice if you could be kind of luminous. And, uh... I remember he sacked the dogs because they wouldn't perform um, to his pleasure. They, were, they looked terrifying, they didn't act terrifying. So he said, sack those dogs, I don't want them paid. <laughs> we did it once in front of the fire. Then they took Katrina out and sent her home, and I said, why, why, why is she going up? Oh, well, it's just you now doing a uh, close-up. So they stuck in this pink cushion, and I had to hump this cushion for an hour with the sweat rolling off me, with no Katrina there. John's film was a real movie, and uh, of course we all felt we'd launched into movies, you know? <laughs> that was not the case, but we all felt, wow, we're going to be big movie stars after this. We learned early on that what John really liked was when the rehearsed bit ended. Because John would yell us, keep going, keep going, don't stop, don't stop. What he really liked was the improvised action, which given that you know, swords and battle axes and in full armor could be um, uh, quite scary. I can't believe it. I mean, 20 years I've been waiting for this moment. It had been a, a lifelong ambition of mine to make this film. And when I saw that shot of Arthur and the ship, I felt that I'd uh, completed my work. Yeah.